Hi guys, I'm going to show you a very basic implementation of using VM specifically with ZKVM testnet to be able to deploy a contract, write to a contract, read from a contract, and even view its logs. So if we start here, I've already installed all my dependencies. We'll go over this really quickly. Um, I already have my environment variable set up, but if I want to deploy a contract, you'll notice that what I did is take the original compiled uh, a bytecode that you usually get from uh, hardhat. So this is a JSON file. The only difference that I did was just remove the deployed bytecode here in that sense, um, but kept everything in terms of the structure the same. What I did was import that JSON file as a const to, uh, to make sure that the types are done uh, correctly so that we can take advantage of VM. So what's great about VM is that everything is like is very type safe in that sense so that you can see all the types when you type it out. So here I have my greeter contract. Again, it's coming from our contract.ts file which imports our JSON file. From here, I'm you'll notice that I'm creating two clients, one to be able to deploy the actual contract and the other to read it. And you'll see that there's this other functionality called private key to account. This is where the similarly to ethers.js where we can actually import via the private key of, of a wallet and then be able to use that to sign the transactions. So here we have, we'll start off with the first uh, functionality which is to deploy the contract. We'll see here, I'm gonna deploy it. I'm gonna pass in the contract as a, is a complete JSON file. Um, I'm gonna pass in the account to, that does the signing and the arguments in this case which are the value, the initial value for the constructor. And we'll get a hash from that. So basically that transaction hash We'll wait for that transaction. You'll notice I'm using the public client, gets the receipt from that. From there, we should be able to get the contract address. So if I ran this, so PMPM um, contract deploy, we should see the main function comes up. I see that hash. We'll, we'll wait for the actual receipt, which will take a couple seconds and then we'll see a contract successfully deployed to this particular address. And we can see that it has been deployed on testnet um, successfully like a minute ago. So, so now that I have the contract address, what I'm gonna do is open up my .env file and paste that here under the contract address. What I need that for is to be able to read from that contract address for the next script. So if we go to our read.ts file, we'll see that I'm pulling in the same contract that contract.ts file that we saw before. We're not using the wallet client this, kind of, this time, just the create public client, and we're still importing the chain for Polygon ZKVM testnet. So we configure the public client, and you'll see here that I'm going to read from the contract. I'm passing in the ABI file, the address that we're pulling in for, from our environment variables file, and then we're calling the function get greeting. And we should see the result from there in terms of what was deployed. So if we go PMPM contract, read, we should see the result of hello from coding with Manny for that read function. The next step we're going to do is write to the contract. So similarly to the deploy, we, we need to take advantage of the wallet client because we need to be able to set up an account to be able to sign the transaction. So everything is the same in terms of deploying. The only difference here now is we're going to do a simulate contract with a public client first, which will pass in the ABI file, the contract address that we wanted to that we want to write to the function, which is called set greeting, the account that we want to associate to it, and then the argument that we want to pass to it. In this case, is another greeting. We'll wait for that hash to be returned, wait for the transaction to complete for the receipt, and then read it again once more to be able to get the greeting to see the result of the change. So in this case, I'm going to go run pmpm run contract or pmpm contract write. We should see the hash. We'll see the receipt come up in a second. And we'll see that another greeting showed up where we have updated the contract with that specific greeting. Next up, we wanna be able to look at the logs from the contract. In this case, we're gonna use a public client, utilize some other functionality called decode event log, get log parameters as a type, and obviously the transport, which is HTTP, which will come from the Polygon ZKVM testnet. So here we're getting the current block number. The reason why we're getting the block number is because we want to be able to set the range of where we're actually pulling the events from. Here we have the public client getting the logs. We're passing the ABI file, the address of the contract. And then here I'm doing, because I'm looking through the ABI file, I'm looking for the specific event of, which is defined as new greeting. Uh, I'm passing essentially the object. So if we go into greeter.json, essentially what we're looking for is this specific object 
to be able to pass through as the value. So if we went back to our logs here, we'll see that I'm getting that, that object. And then what I'm doing is from the block, the current block number minus 100 to um, the nth value to, to be able to get further back and then to the current block. And you'll notice that I'm casting it here where I'm saying get logs parameter. This is needed because the reason why is I'm doing a ABI find to be able to get that specific object return as opposed to typing it out myself. We'll then get all the logs and the logs will be in specific hashes. So we'll need to be able to decode them. And all I'm gonna do is decode this, the first log, get the topics and get that data as a string to be able to output that. So if we run PMPM contract, logs, we should see that the main function comes up. We're able to pull in the logs. We'll see that two logs were set up. One was the initial where I said hello from coding with Manny and the other one was another greeting. And we should see that the first event that happened was hello from coding from Manny from this particular wallet address. And that's how you're able to deploy a contract, read a contract, write to a contract and read its logs using VM with Polygon ZKVM testnet. If you want to see the full Git repository, go to github.com slash coding with many slash ZKVM dash VM. You should see the full readme on all the steps and what to expect as specific outputs on how to interact with a contract with ZKVM and using VM.